because I already replaced So what are, you, what are you doing here, Mrs. Fletch? Show us what you're doing. Well, I'm trying something to see if I can... I'm trying to see if I can dry, use the heat and just dry my basil outside rather than heating up the house with drying it in the oven or in our de dehydrator. I'm just trying because I have three huge plants. I'm going to let one go to seed and see what we can do with this one. Cool. Dry this one and so what is that again? That's a basil. Basil. Plant. Yeah, okay. look, it's like, it's huge. Yeah. My other one's even bigger. Ball. This one I cut off a bunch and fed to the chickens, but um, it still has seeds. I'm not really worried about the seeds on this one. Yeah. That one's going to go to seed there. Okay. Just hopefully replant itself next year. Cool. Those are, those are beautiful. Those are actually called tulips. So, uh, homesteading and or preparedness is not all about gloom and doom. It's also about beauty and taking care of things in nature so here is our, our rock garden that we've got with all kinds of strawberries and flowers and a little fountain and uh, a fireplace area over here and lots of beautiful flowers that my wife works so hard to do say hi to everybody hi <laughs> And here's some of the container gardens that the kids have been doing. They've been growing radishes in there. Those have grown really well. And my son, Joel, is very proud of his watermelon right here. So, yeah, we've, and he's got another one growing over there. So, yeah, it's uh, just a little tiny garden for right now. We're working on it. And we want to get a bigger garden going, but for right now, that's what we have. And we'll keep developing the property and, and adding more to it as the, the time goes. And for those of you that don't know, marigolds are a very good uh, flower. Even though they're an annual, you got to plant them every year. But if you plant them on the outskirts of your gardens, they help to keep out pests and deer and things like that because they don't like the, the scent or the smell of them. These all started from the one little, like, single packs that you can buy at, like, Lowe's is where we bought them, but the little six pack that was, like, $2, two ninety nine. Uh huh. and each one of these, that was two there, they, they just keep growing, and I keep transplanting them mm -hmm. and moving them around, so they're growing, you know, other things aren't, like, yeah. in the soil. The marigolds are doing really well, and I just keep That's deadheading them and saving some seeds for next year. So like at the beginning of the season, you could probably just buy like a couple of flats and plant them around and they'll just keep growing and adding through the whole growing season? Yeah, as long as you deadhead them and then I dry the... What's deadhead them? That means you pluck off the flowers that are spent or uh -huh. dead and you just pull out the whole... And marigolds are pretty easy if you just let it kind of dry, like this one here. Mm -hmm. Dried up mostly, dried up and you just... Gently pull it off and then you've got, I mean, that's more than enough seeds from one flower to start, you know, mm -hmm. to protect our whole garden next year. So I just leave them out on a cookie sheet or something like mm -hmm. that. And then I just save them in baby glass jars for the cool. next year. All right. Well, thank you. Well, that's it for today, guys. Hope you're having a blessed day. Shalom.